What is going on guys? Welcome back to another 6.0 Power Stroke video. Today's video is going to be pretty short. It's just going to be how to set up high idle on your 6.0 Power Stroke. Uh, now this video is specifically for the trucks with the factory auxiliary switches. The only difference is if you don't have that, you have to get an aftermarket one, connect power. Other than that, it should be all roughly the same process. Uh, but let's get into it and what tools you need. This is going to be a fairly simple process. Uh, as you can see, I've laid out all the tools you need here. You need a wire crimper slash uh, stripper, some sort of wire crimp. I'm spacing it to connect the wires and 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet. So let's get started. All right. So the first things first, this panel right here has come off. It's pretty easy. You just pull back the sides. It'll go down. You can see the little hook there. It'll go down, come right out set to this side next thing you have to do the reason you need a 10 millimeter 10 millimeter socket is the fuse box you have to unbolt and just pull down so we can access the wires behind it all right guys once you got this guy set down kind of pull it to the right here it's what seems to make it easiest as you can see there's not a whole lot of room to work with back here uh so to start there's a few wires you can connect to um i will put the this whole install description and in, uh in the description below so you can see which wire works for your best for the most part, um, for your average application, uh, getting the heater warm faster, keeping your AC cold, or like jump starting for a higher idle, you're gonna want to find, I believe it's called the BCP wire, which that wire is gonna be purple with light green. You can see, you can see it's the one on my fingers on right here. Don't get it mixed up with the green with purple. You want the purple wire with the green line. So once you find that wire, then you need to find the wire, for my case, to switch to the auxiliary switch. Now, I want to note for the auxiliary switch wire, um, I actually got this wrong, and then you're not going to see it, but I had to undo everything I just did because I got it mixed up. You're looking for an orange with light blue wire. You have some back here, which is orange with light blue, and you also have some that's going to be pretty close to the back of your fuse panel. So the wire you want, the orange with light blue, which specifically is this wire, as you can see, that's the one you want. The wire back there, even though it's orange with light blue, is the firewall pass-through because, you know, these trucks have the connection point inside the engine compartment. So you do not want that wire. You want this wire right here. So it'll be closer to the fuse panel. That one looks really tempting. It's really close to that one. Don't do it. It doesn't do anything. So this is the wire that you want. So now, I'm gonna connect this wire over to that guy right there. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm running a extra length of wire because my wire is not quite long enough. Some trucks are, some trucks aren't. So connect it back here to that purple with green line wire, like I said. And then orange with light blue wire right here. Connect it here. Um, I like these connectors. They're the waterproof ones. Not only are they waterproof, which you don't need, but they also, it's kind of like double protection there. Um, it's crimped and you can also melt to the wire to keep it from moving around a lot. So once you have that purple with light green wire hooked up to the orange with light blue wire on the back of the panel, we're going to go ahead and test it here. So in order for this to work, just turn the truck on. You're gonna let it run for a minute. The e-brake has to be on for this. So once you let it sit there for a second, you can see I'll flip the uh, my Oxfitter 4 switch. And boom, just like that, high idle. It's like I said, my Ox 4 switch. Easy as that. It, it's relatively an easy process. Uh, so I'll get this buttoned up here and we should be good to go. All right, guys, I got everything buttoned back up, tested it one more time, make sure I didn't knock any wires loose. And just like that, you're done. Realistically, if you get all the wires right, it should be less than a 30 minute job. The only thing that sucks is it's tighter space down there. Um, makes it a little more difficult, but it's pretty easy. A lot easier if you have the factory outfitter switches there are videos out there on how to do it without them i'm doesn't apply to me 
it's a little harder to explain. So I'm going to let those videos explain that. Not my videos, other channels. Um, but that's it. Just like that, you now have a high, tor a high idle switch in your factory 60 power stroke with like $2 box connectors and a couple tools. Um, good for winter warm ups, colder AC, jump starting people, flip that switch, good to go. So, other than that, like I said, shorter video today, guys. I have other 60 power stroke videos on my channel. Uh, you can go ahead and give a, like, a watch if you'd like. Like and subscribe, and I appreciate you guys watching. See you later.